Hey, the Lord bless you. Evangelist Rob here, Rob with Ministries, an honor to be with you today, prophetically decreeing and declaring that you, my friend, are part of a radical end time breed, like a John the Baptist. John was radical, friends. He said, whatever it takes, I'll wear camel's hair, I'll eat locusts, I'll stand on my head, I'll spit nickels, whatever it takes. John said, I'm going to go into the wilderness. I'm going to be a forerunner. I'm going to have that mantle of prepare ye the way of the coming of the Lord, like that bulldozer mantle that prepares the way for the presence of the Lord. John was radical, and, you know, he ended up getting his head cut off, but he was radical. He was a radical breed, and you are too. Now, if you're part of that radical breed in the comment section, or you want to be, just say, count me in, Rob, amen, pray for me. If you have a specific prayer request, by all means, you can put it in the comment section. You don't have to be specific. You could just put pray for me or amen. Father, we know John said whatever it takes, he was radical. He when it says, I'm going to go into the wilderness. I don't know anyone else who went through the wilderness. He went alone, I believe. And he wore camel's hair. He said, whatever it takes, God, I'll just... I just want to be a voice. That's what John said. And Jesus said he was a massive, mighty prophet of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, before I continue, it'd be an honor if you subscribe to the ministry channel. Thank you in advance. I need your help. I want to reach a generation on YouTube for Jesus Christ. I can't do it without you. I'll comment in any fashion, any questions. Hit the like button. Now, any shows over six minutes that I've burned to put on in the past, you can watch it for you. You can paste and copy them, send them to anyone. And friends, I just want to reiterate, John the Baptist was a radical, mighty man of faith. There are many mighty women of faith in the Bible. Mary, the mother of Jesus, counted a great cost. Now, Mary wasn't perfect or, or, or sinless like the Lord. She had to forgive as Jesus Christ to be a Lord and Savior, because the only one that's without sin is the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But Mary counted a great cost, that reproach that her and Joseph bore, because the Bible says she never knew any man or he never knew any woman. Now she's prego, she's pregnant. You understand what I'm saying? And they're looking at him like, what? Are you kidding me? You guys aren't even married. You're betrothed. You're, you're engaged. And she gives birth to the Jesus, the Christ. What an absolute radical woman of faith. There are many. Deborah in the Old Testament was radical. She sounded an alarm. She struck a band. She was a prophetic prophetess of the Lord Jesus Christ. Apostle Paul, David, Daniel, brother Noah of old. They were radical. They lived on the edge. They said whatever it takes. They were a radical breed, hallelujah. And radical people produce radical faith. Peter gets out of the boat. He was the only one, and he sinks. He looks at his circumstances. But he was radical, Peter, and he was the same radical fisherman where roosters are crowing, cock-a-doodle three times in a row for denying Jesus. But the truth is, in the book of Acts, he was the one, and, and, and scholars will tell you, that said, I'm not even worthy to be crucified right side up. I want to be crucified right side down. I believe Jesus gave him a prophetic word. said, when you stretch your arms out, you're going to be crucified and martyred like me. Man, I'm telling you, man, I, you know, that martyr mantle, it's crap. Now, please don't, don't send someone over here to New York to take care of me. <laughs> but I'll be honest, that's a powerful, powerful, radical mantle that some people carry where they're going to say, I'm not going to deny Jesus Christ. And we may be coming at the days of persecution like that. You think that can never happen in America. Talk to the people in China. Talk to these people in other countries that are being persecuted for having simple faith in Jesus Christ, and they have to go into the underground church. That's where the real radical Christians are, my friends. There's no persecution in America, not as of yet, because they call your names, or maybe they threaten to do this. Come on. There's no, there's no one being beaten, stoned, whipped. Paul whipped, my friends, 30, 
so many times, dozens of times, one short of actually by law of them allowing to whip him either to death or completely, totally, you know, totally take him out and him fainting in life. So I'm telling you, friends, the Lord, let me pray for you. Father, I'm asking you to strengthen people under the sound of my voice to produce radical faith because they're a radical breed. Father, just give us the strength to obey you and obey the call that you called us to. Let us apprehend the call. Paul said, I apprehended the call of God. I apprehended him. Let us apprehend you, Jesus, in this hour. Let us not back up or cower down or you know, not, not make hit the mark. We want to apprehend Jesus and have radical power. And the Holy Spirit's giving you radical power, exceedingly great and mighty power. If you don't have Jesus in your heart or you need to make a comeback, you want to invite the Lord into your life, Jesus comes by invitation. God will never make you serve him. God gave us a free will. You can accept him out of obedience or reject him out of disobedience, you're the one that controls the doorknob to your heart. Say this prayer now. It's not in reciting the prayer. It's the faith behind it that activates the Lord to come take residence and live in you. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross of my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Bless you if you prayed that prayer. If you made it this far in the rant, subscribe. It'd be an honor. Comment. In any fashion, prayer requests, hit the like button. Any videos over six minutes, you can check out. The Lord bless you. Amen.